Hey guys, it's Josh. So I was thinking, how many of you have purchased that particular lie that your life is insignificant? Now I know I have at one point thought that my life was insignificant, but what about you? Now, what would make your particular life insignificant? You had no story to tell. You are rhythmless void in this world that nothing that you did made anybody feel better or worse about themselves. You didn't make things better or worse in the environment that you're in. You were just, you were rhythmless. You were insignificant. But you're not. You are significant. Now, the reason why I say that is because think about all of the things that you've been through in your life, all the crap, all the the, the trials and tribulations that you've gone through. And you came out on the other side and you were like, dang, I can't believe I got through that. Or you're like, aha, I know exactly where it went wrong. Or, aha, I know exactly where it went right. And so you either journal it or you keep it up in your headspace or you write a poem about it or you what, blog, you blog about it, but it hit you and you learn something new. What if you took it a step further and you told a friend what you went through and the lesson you learned as a, as a result of going through that particular situation. And then it, you just bring that aha moment to an aha moment because it's like, it's something like click because it, it made more sense because you were speaking it aloud and you weren't just relying on your internal dialogue. Right? Okay. So I was talking to a friend, a dear friend of mine today. And, um, I was, I was shown on my camera and I was going through all the different settings, the ISO, the aperture and the uh, shutter speed. And we we're in a poor lighting environment. And I was like, you know, this is what we do. This is what ISO does. And this is what the F stop does. And this is what the uh, shutter speed does. And they all have to work in sync with one another and they all are codependent. The list goes on. And, and then, so I was like, wow, I'm even more confused about this stuff now because I'm speaking it aloud, but a little bit is more is, is making more sense to me because I was taking that step and that leap of faith to ex explain to somebody my half here rear in knowledge of it. And it was starting to make a little bit more sense as far as like the mathematics side, but as far as like, you know, how to actually do it, that's just going to take practice, but it was starting to make sense. The point is, is that, the things that you go through in life, if you just keep them up here, they're not going to make anything in this world a better place or a worse place. It's just a rhythmless place. But if you decide that, hey, the situation I went through, there was a lesson that I learned and that lesson was powerful. It had my boom, it had a boom experience, but you can bless somebody with that experience to be like, hey, come here. Hey, this situation that I went through, blah, blah, blah. but then that person be like, wow, that's the same situation I'm going through. Or that's kind of something that my, my a family member is going through or a friend is going through. And since you learned that experience, you learned that, that um, the solution to that problem because you went through the experience, maybe I can help them learn from, you, from, their, from your experience so that it would save them the heartache of having to go through that sp specific situation. Not everyone, but most people need to actually have their, their forest burn in order for them to learn a lesson. But some people can read about it or, look, or listen to somebody's story be like, man, I ain't, I ain't messing with that. I got to go. Play with fire, sucker. Peace out. <laughs> so the point I'm getting to is that your life is not insignificant. You are significant. Think about the story that you have to tell to people. Don't just keep it to yourself. That's selfish. Think about those life lessons, those experiences that you went through. And put them in bullet point format. And put a blog together. People will listen to you. People want to know that there's other people in the world that's going through what they're going through or have gone through what they're going through or that they're not alone. And that's the point. You are not alone. I am here with you. I don't know what to sing. Uh, uh, uh. That's why I don't sing players. <laughs> Love you guys. Peace out. Hope you're having a fabulous weekend.